Hi, and welcome to the Build Your Own Business Website tutorial series. My name is Rick Anderson, and I'll be your instructor throughout the entire series. The goal of this tutorial series is to show how you, with basic word processing and desktop publishing skills, can develop, manage, and maintain your own business web presence. In this series, we will guide you step by step through the process. We will assume that you have no special knowledge of doing this, besides being able to use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, and or some other similar types of business productivity software. You won't need to know HTML, CSS, XML, or any of the other technical elements involved in developing a website. This lesson does assume, though, that you have selected a domain name and know that it's available to you. If you have not yet taken this step, please read our article about this and go through the steps of selecting your name first. Okay, let's get started. If you're not already there, navigate to our Lesson 1 page. And you can get there from our home page, which is www.byobwebsite.com. Build your own business website.com. And go over to Video Tutorials, Start Here, Lesson 1. Now under Lesson 1 Resources, I want you to select the link Bluehost. Now this link takes you to Bluehost, which is the hosting provider that we recommend for this lesson. Now there are a number of excellent hosting providers out there, and we use others for other purposes, but we recommend Bluehost for a number of reasons. First and foremost, they have excellent telephone support. If you want to test that out, just call this number down here, 888-401-4678, on their website and see how fast you get a person who's able to talk to you about your website. Secondly, their system is very user-friendly. The dashboard is easy to navigate, doesn't require you to have special technical knowledge in order to use it. We'll take a brief tour of that later on in this tutorial. Third, they have an excellent help system, which includes a large number of instructional videos. And finally, they're very reasonably priced. So in order to begin, click the Sign Up Now button. And now you can see why it's important for you to already have your domain name selected. In the section, I need a domain, enter the domain name you want to use. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use byobtutorial.com. Once you've entered the name, click the Next button. So now fill out the account information, business name, byob website Rick Anderson United States 935 Daly Street Edmonds Washington 98020 phone number 425 405 5285 We'll skip the mobile number, email address. I always use one email address for all this sort of thing, so I'm going to enter that here. And then enter an account password. It's important that this account password be secure. Okay, then scroll down. You know, I generally skip this domain who is privacy. If you select the more information, you can learn more about that. If you want your domain name to actually be private, then you can go ahead and select this checkbox. In terms of the package information, again, I generally select the uh, longer period of time. So I, I generally select 24 months. Uh, the minimum to select is 12, but at 24 months you get another $24 off of the two-year subscription. And because you're in this for the long haul, I just pay for the most amount I can. And I choose to pay this with PayPal. 
rather than with a credit card. You can, if you want to use your credit card, of course, fill out the rest of this instead and click Next. You're probably familiar with the whole PayPal thing. And I've been returned back to Bluehost. You can see all of the account information. My domain name is byobtutorial.com. My business name, the information that I submitted here. And the amount that I was billed for this was $94.80. Well, so now you have established a web hosting account and you have established your domain name. Um, now it's time to set it up from that point on. So select this button, control panel for your byobtutorial.com. Okay, that about wraps up part one of lesson one of the Build Your Own Business website tutorial series. In the second part of this lesson, we will take a tour of the Bluehost dashboard.